What's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out this Borderlands 3 video. Hopefully your day, night, evening, wherever you're at in your time zone is going well for you. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all how to get out of Sanctuary. Get on top of the ship. This is pretty interesting and I hope Gearbox doesn't exactly take this out of the game because it's not really game breaking. It's just something to go do and explore while you're at Sanctuary. Well, first things first, you're going to want to head to the top part of Sanctuary. So past Moxie's bar, and you're going to want to head up here. And then you're going to want to head through this door here. And then you're going to want to take a right and go through this door. And down in here is where you can actually get out of Sanctuary. This is done by a glitch, and there's some interesting things on top of Sanctuary that I'm excited to show you all. So how this glitch is done is by simply jumping on top of this light here. Can be kind of tricky to get on top of, I will mention. Some of you might think this glitch has been patched when you are attempting it. And if you're thinking that, well, it might be, but just check the patch notes. More than likely it's not. I don't really see why Bethesda, whoops, did not mean to say, I've made too much Fallout content. I don't really see why Gearbox would take this out of their game because it's not really game breaking. Because it's not like ruining the game. You're not like gaining an upper advantage by doing this. You're simply exploring the top of Sanctuary. I mean, I guess you are kind of gaining an upper advantage by being on top of Sanctuary, but you get what I'm saying. It's not giving you a one-up on another player. But yeah, so once you're on top of this light, you simply want to jump toward this wall, and as you can see, you'll just, yeah, pop right on top of Sanctuary. And once you're up here, you are free to explore. You've officially escaped Sanctuary. Congratulations. You're now on top of the ship. So there are a few interesting things that I wanted to point out up here. Also, I'm going to be showing y'all a better point of view of inside Maurice's room. Who knows, we might find something that you typically wouldn't be able to see. Before I do that, I wanted to show you some things. Speaking of Maurice, there he is, right down there. We can get a better point of view of what's inside his room from up here. But uh, yeah, before I do that though, I wanted to show you something kind of interesting. It can be kind of tricky to navigate out here. So, yeah, the first thing that I wanted to show you is located right up here. As you can see, if you're in the lobby with some buddies, they could actually see you on top of the map easily right here. Because this is a window that you can look out of when you're inside the map. And I mean, think about that. That'd be kind of funny if like your buddies didn't know about this and you tell them to come over here and look up and then they just see you outside of Sanctuary. I know that would blow their mind and you'd probably get some really interesting reactions. But yeah, that's something, uh, pretty cool about being on top of here there's also um something let me try to find it it's kind of tricky i gotta look for hammerlock's room oh yeah i think that's hammerlock down in here yep okay so as you can see over here it says crew mission kills not exactly sure what this is signifying it could be just some sort of code the developers had and they just tossed it outside of the map i'm not exactly sure why this was left here but yeah, that's something else that you can spot right to the side of Sir Hammerlock's room. Okay, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> my uh, my pet's down there trying to follow me. He's probably sad he can't get to me. But uh, but let's go ahead and backtrack here a little bit. Do a little bit more exploration. Oh, wow, you can really see those ships from out here too. Those look awesome. Also, let's go ahead and get a better look at Maurice's room real quick. As you can see, I wonder if there's a way inside his room from on top of here. Probably not, but you never know. I know we'll definitely get a better point of view of what's inside it. There may be some kind of secrets that we didn't really notice from just looking in from his doorway. Oh. Let's, let me try to go in photo mode from here. Let me get out maybe a sniper. There's some posters on the wall in here that would be pretty difficult to see if you're in Sanctuary trying to look for them. Oh, I don't got a sniper on me. That's a problem. This has a scope on it. This scope sucks. I guess I can kind of see the posters though. 
Got a Jacobs poster. Eh, nothing out of the ordinary. So I'm gonna look around. Is that Handsome Jack? <laughs> yes, it is. Handsome Jack poster right there. Nah. I don't really see any secrets. Maybe you guys can spot out some if you actually come out here. As far as what I've seen, I don't really see anything out of the ordinary. Pretty cool, though, that you can look inside Maurice's room from here. Anyways, let me unequip that. Just because I like showing off things without a weapon. I feel like you all get a better point of view. I'm going to go ahead and just explore up here for you guys. Just basically do a tour on top of Sanctuary. Show you some different... What the heck? That's a floating table. Why is there... Oh, I'm not even going to ask. Some invisible barriers you're going to have to jump on top of. It's, it's kind of weird. But you'll get used to it. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to show you what happens when we do jump off of this as well. And go into oblivion. Let's just say uh, it's quite a fall. <laughs> Obviously. Some of you might have thought that there's an invisible barrier below us, but there's not. There's something else that I wanted to show you guys before I exactly jump off to. I'm going to make sure I show you all that. Also giving you all a tour as well. Not many players have seen on top of Sanctuary. Oh, yeah, look, look at this. Above uh, Tannis' room, we got some of these. You know, these look like they belong in a cave, not just randomly floating in space. I'm not exactly sure why these are here. Oh, there's a locked door, too, that I've always wanted to see what's behind. I think it's over here. Let me see. Is that where the locked door is? Yeah, I think think it's right here to the right, yeah. Yep. There's the locked door. So let's check it out. Looks like there's something going on back here. Oh, what? Oh, this is Moxie's area. Never mind. Whatever's in that locked door is just like a little closet. Doesn't really extend out. Something might be added there in the future, though. Don't really know exactly what gearbox... Oh my gosh! No! Oh! Okay, well, um... <laughs> you officially get to see what happens when you fall off. This is what happens. You just pretty much continue to fall for a very, very long time. I don't really know if you ever hit a death barrier or not. You can't pull up your menu. You have to literally quit out of the game and do the glitch all over again. Aw, oh, man. I still wanted to show off a little bit more out there. Dang it. Guess I'm going to have to quit out. You know, I'm going to see what happens when I go into photo mode, what it looks like. Oh, my gosh. I don't like that. I guess that pretty much wraps up what's on top of here. I mean, you guys can do a bit more exploring. There are some more areas to explore, but for the most part, that's all I really wanted to show y'all. But uh, yeah, I guess that's how wrapping up this video, everyone. Hope you found this enjoyable and it was something different than what you typically see for Borderlands content. If you found this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. And hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. But as always, all of that is totally up to you. Until next time, everyone, remember to stay safe out there. Peace.